What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a, kind of a slightly unusual situation, but maybe this will help you guys save some money. Uh, this mower was in for um, shutting off or, yeah, shutting off is what the customer said after they run it for about an hour. So right away, I thought to myself, tank ventilation issue. Um, what the customer had already done is replace the coils as you can see there I took the uh, the cover off for the air air uh, filter here so they did the coils and when I looked inside of the tank I saw a lot of sand inside of the tank at the very bottom which is kind of common for these things especially commercial mowers uh, guys you know they might leave the the cap off or they're refilling it while they're you know, co-worker might be using a blower. Anyway, it's not unusual to see a lot of grass and sand in the bottom of these. Um, so what I would do is I would recommend a fuel system clean out in that situation. And on those, I just go ahead and clean it out. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and took this. Um, this is the tank vent right here, which I was assuming was the problem because once you are running the mower so long it's trying to uh, suck that gas it creates a vacuum if it's not venting right it's going to start starving for fuel and that's exactly what this mower was acting like after I would run it for about 45 minutes or so uh, I'd have to run it with blades on cutting heavy grass trying to just burn as much fuel as possible and um, let me show you what was actually going on with this mower as you can see, it's kind of starting to starve for fuel. And I decide, I'm thinking it's a tank ventilation issue, so I popped this cap off, and it still wasn't solving the issue. And I've already been cutting grass for quite a while, trying to consume as much gas as quickly as possible. And so at this point, I um, decide to cut off the blades and kind of limp it back to the shop and when I'm running without a load, much of a load on the engine, it seems to run fine. With the blades off, I had the coil testers on there even though I know the coils were good. I just went ahead and put those on there just to confirm that they were doing okay. And as you can see here, as I'm kind of just a little bit over idle, no blades on, it's running actually okay. So at this point, I know I don't have 100% restriction of the fuel. It's not a tank ventilation issue, but I still have a restriction of some sort in the fuel line. But when I did the fuel system clean, I'd replay, I recommended just cleaning the thing out. And I went ahead and uh, he, he said, just go ahead and put a new fuel pump on there. So we put a new fuel pump on there because that sand will kind of mess that up. And, you know, blew out all the lines and everything. And I went ahead and dropped the bowl on the carburetor. And it did have a little bit of contamination in there but it was running really good so I, I knew it wasn't really a carburetor issue when it was running it was running good so um, you know valve issues carburetor issues I wasn't concerned with and it would just start starving for fuel after about um, an hour or so so I, what I did was I had, uh, did the fuel system clean out took the tank off cleaned it all out took all the lines out blew them all out and it still was doing the same thing, even though my tank ventilation was going. Um, one thing I was I would do while I was driving it, and it would start starving for fuel. If the engine starts kind of spitting and sputtering and hesitating, and you know you can turn the blades off or take the throttle back down to idle, and it kind of keeps running. But if you're trying to run the throttle, you know at full throttle, and it's not running right it's starving for fuel and one way i didn't get any footage of it but because um i was just out here earlier and it would i would spray some carb cleaner into the intake while it was starving and it fire right back up so that kind of confirmed that i was starving for fuel if it's an electrical issue like say a say uh operator presence safety switch or some type of electrical issue it's going to usually just shut off instantly. Or if it's a coil issue, it's going to, um, you know, the, these coils will start getting hot and they'll work intermittently. And if one goes out, 
it'll sound completely different. It'll have lack of power, but and it might kind of go in and out, but usually when they kind of start going out, getting hot, uh, they don't really come back on until maybe it gets cooler. Um, so it'll run, it'll sound like it's, you know, like a Harley or something or, or whatever. It d doesn't necessarily, it's gonna mean it's gonna just shut off like this one was doing. This one was starving for fuel. So what it ended up being was um, when I took all this out and what I do, you know, to take these out, it's better just to spray some WD-40 in here um, and very carefully lift. That's the uh, fuel shutoff valve. And at the bottom of that, you have a uh, pickup tube. And this one had, I don't know if I can get the camera to focus here. You know, the, the screen here was damaged, all right? So I took that out and my initial, when I did the fuel clean out, I made a mistake by not taking this, blowing air through this valve, okay? And that's what the issue was. So I took this one out and it looks just like this one and I could not blow, just I could barely blow any air through it. And so what I did was I just, you know, took some WD-40, sprayed in there, sprayed in here, and it would just barely drip out. So basically what was going on, it was letting a little bit of fuel through, but just not enough to keep up with the demand of the engine. It was letting enough fuel come out to keep up with the demand if I was just running casually, even at full throttle without the blades on, but not when I would cut grass for 30 minutes or something, it would just, it would, it would, sit there and slowly not to let enough fuel go through the fuel lines and it was just and what was going on all that contamination had kind of gunked up and so what i did is i took you know like i said a spray wd-40 in there to loosen it up and took my air nozzle and was blowing through there and it had a pretty serious clog i was working it back and forth and um, spraying each direction and then finally i didn't see it but i felt the chunk of whatever clogged it up just fly out and then I could easily blow air through each end of that valve when it was open, plugged it back up, save the issue, solve the problem. And that's something that the customer could have done for, you know, very little money, uh, no money at all, basically. Uh, just take a little bit of time and could have saved themselves a lot of hassle. Still needed to do a fuel system clean out um, or, you know, if, if they just would avoid that, um, you know contamination getting into the tank and this little pickup screen it will let some things through there but that having a whole this is actually the pickup tube that was in this in this tank and um that that was allowing the the contamination to get up there and, and gunk that valve up so basically the point of this video is just be very thorough um i dropped the ball actually myself on this one i didn't find that right away when i was doing the fuel system clean out came out here tested it still doing the same issue and went back and i said it's got to be that that's the only thing that is that i didn't check so guys just be patient um if, once you figure out how these things are working what's working uh, it's easier to diagnose stuff but sometimes you know you just got to be patient and really think about uh, the situation there's never a one thing i'll get comments all the time like hey my mower's doing this what is it like there's never just uh, an automatic, this is it. If it's, you know, s sometimes it's just weird s situations. And that's why I like to make these videos to help you guys out. That might not be your, I'm not saying that's your issue. It could be your issue. So anyway, hope you like the video and uh, join, um, become a, um, a fan or a member or even a sponsor. Your comments, your questions will get, priority if you're a fan or a sponsor um, but anyway see you guys next time hope this video helped you guys out